everyone, it's Gabriel Zamora and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is this kind of, since my hair is blue, I thought let's do primary colors. <laughs> so I thought blue hair, yellow lid, red lip. I think it's a really good look, especially for summer. If you don't even have blue hair, like look. Let's just say this is neutral as hell. See, it's a great summer look. Isn't it everything? I should get a gray wig. Like, would y'all live? But yes, I wanted to film a different tutorial. I know I don't play with a lot of color. I know that I never really do a wing liner. I'm trying to get a little bit better. <laughs> little by little by little by little, I'm getting better at it. Gabriel, you need to push yourself. You need to add more color to your Makeup looks. So if you guys like this look, and if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know exactly how I created this look, then keep on watching. I feel like I should just wear red lipstick all the time. Oh yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so let's begin. The first item that we're gonna use on our bare face is this Hourglass Primer. This is the Veil Primer. It's supposed to help with like oily skin, and I've been using it a lot. I feel like it really does help actually. And then I'm gonna contour underneath my foundation with this little brush I got from Want My Look. I'm obsessed with it. It's almost like the Artiste brush, but so much cheaper, like way cheaper. But I like to use the Ofra Ethnic Corrector. This is the tripod. And it's in one of the darkest shades, but I really like it. Just, um, I'm placing it more so and blending it out with the brush. I'm not being too like, meticulous on how I blend, like even excess product I'm putting on the side of my nose, because now I'm gonna apply two foundations, and the two foundations I'm using is a Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the color Y505, mixed with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the in Caramel Beige. The reason why I'm doing this is because right now I'm really tan. I use a self-tanner from Tarte, which I'm obsessed, but I'm technically darker, so I'm darkening my foundation with a darker foundation and kind of getting like an in-between color and this brush I'm telling you guys is amazing even like using underneath my eyes and I'm very particular because I'm scared to like get wrinkles and stuff so I don't want anything tugging or being too rough underneath my eyes and this brush is amazing amazing I'm honestly obsessed with it and I'm just like really blending it out because now I'm gonna do another foundation but this was the like hourglass this is the immaculate foundation uh, this is in the color Golden. Why I really like it is because it is a liquid to powder foundation. So I'm putting it in areas that I'm highlighting because it is a little bit lighter. It's more so my color when I am not tan. But I don't like to mix this because this is a different formula. It goes from liquid to powder. So the areas that I want highlighted and it also keeps them very matte, I notice. I really like, I've used it a couple times and I'm really obsessed with this foundation, you guys. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. And then with my favorite concealer, you know, I swear by this concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the color Y31. And I'm literally, I'm using the exact same brush. The exact same brush. What I like about it is that the product doesn't like seep into the brush to where it's mixing different products. So if I'm putting on my foundation with it, it's gonna put on all my foundation and it doesn't eat a lot of product. But I like to go back in with my finger. I've noticed that even when you apply foundation with your finger and a brush, it just looks lighter when you apply it with your finger. When you just like dab, 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 dab. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm going back in with a little brush and just making sure that everything is blended properly. And then with my all-time favorite powder, this is Fair by Ben Nye. And I'm just putting it right underneath my eyes just so it really bakes that area a lot lighter because I'm still gonna go in with banana. And then on the side of my nose, you guys, if you have to try this, like this is honestly the reason why my nose always looks so snatched with makeup because I bake up to that part with this light one. And then I'm gonna use Boing. This is in the color 01 by Benefit Cosmetics to really kind of highlight my brows. I like to do this before I actually apply my brows just so it creates a more natural look because I like to blend it out with my foundation brush just so it's not too highlighted. I still want it to be like a natural highlight to where they're just standing out but you just don't really understand why they're so like epic, right? So now I'm gonna use Banana by Ben Nye and this is my favorite powder. It's very yellow and I just really am obsessed with baking with, with this color, especially when I'm darker. When you bake with banana, it's it's everything, everything. And then on my jaw, I want it to be more pronounced, and then in the center of my forehead. And then with my favorite, honestly, you guys, this has replaced my e.l.f. little duo thing. This is the Benefit Brow Zings. This is from their new collection. This is in the color four. It is a little bit lighter for me. I actually went back and got a six, but 
I like to do both, especially because I don't. sometimes I don't want my eyebrows to be too harsh. So I think using a four makes them really light. And then this is the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit as well. This is in the number four. And I'm obsessed with this entire collection. This entire collection. See, it's adding a brow. It's almost like giving me a thicker brow. And then this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color four as well. This is more for precision. Precision. So you could create more hair-like strokes and more details with it. And then with the little spoolie, I like to go back in, brush over the brows, create very hair-like strokes, and love it. And then with Gimme Brow, this is in the color three. This is the fibers. This is like the most amazing thing. It honestly makes it look like I have thicker hairs, bushier hairs. It honestly makes it look like I have bushy brows. And you guys know I ain't got no brows. And then I like to just wipe off any of the baking. Just wipe it off. And then with Give Me Sun by MAC Cosmetics, I like to go in and I'm more so placing it. You see how I'm like placing it like that? Just because my cheeks just don't like stick. The product just doesn't stick to my cheeks. So if I like move it around too much, it starts to take the foundation off of my cheeks. I think I have really dry cheeks. Dare I say like <laughs> rubber cheeks. So, and then I'm bringing it down to my neck, making sure I'm really tan and snatching the hell out of my nose. I'm snatching that little nose. That nose is snatched. And then my favorite blush right now is these Tarte Amazonian Clays. Clay brushes? Clay blush blushes. Oh my God, I literally can't talk. But this is by Tarte, their Amazonian Clay Collection. Obsessed. This is in the color Risqué. It's so pretty and so natural. And then for my eye primer, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in Minor Sin. It has a bit of sheen to it, which I really like, but I'm honestly obsessed with now using an eye primer. I didn't use it before um, when I would do different looks and I noticed that my eyeshadow just didn't look as nice. And then with my Violet Vols by Laura Lee palette, like their collab, I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm using Pris Pot. It's a very, almost like light orangey pastel color just to really buff out my my crease. And then I'm going back in with Britches this is a brown pink color and just really accentuating the outer corner of my eye. I'm creating a cat eye look, but a very natural cat eye. Does that even make sense? Does it make sense? Well, yeah. I'm using my Luxie brushes, you guys. These are honestly my obsession right now. Luxie is so legit. I love these brushes. They're so pretty and they're so soft, so I'm obsessed. And then bringing it underneath my, like, eye my lower lash line <laughs> just really smoking out that area just creating that kind of natural cat eye just because it's very close to my color my skin color to be quite honest especially like my it reminds me a lot of my bronzer which i really like and then this is the ofra professional palette this is in the bright addiction and i'm i had to go back in and really just i was like too scared to fall out i was like let me just go back in and lightly bake but i'm using this kind of like lime green color you saw that fall out you saw that you saw that, y'all saw that. But I'm using this kind of like lime green and when I apply it on my lid, you see how yellow it is? This is honestly the lime green color. I haven't even gone in with yellow. And then I wanted a little bit more green, so I went in with the green and I'm only keeping it on the outer corner of my eye, making it a really pretty transition. Like almost if like that brown orangey color mixed with the yellow. See, I actually really liked it. I was like, okay. I like this. It reminds me of a very Jamaican look at the end, you guys. I'm not going to lie. But I really liked it in my crease, yeah? This is me just blending my crease with that green color. And then I was bringing it in more. And then later on, you'll see I regretted it because I made it more yellow. I don't know what I was doing. I was just kind of playing. And then with yellow, I'm finally going over the yellow, you guys. And it's just as yellow. It's more of a bright yellow. The other one was more of like a golden yellow, the lime green color. And I really brought it into my tear duct. This look actually was supposed to be a green eye, like a lime green eye. And it ended up just becoming a yellow eye, just as I kept going. And then with, this is my, honestly, my favorite eyeliner, you guys. This is the Tardis, what is this called again? The Double Take Eyeliner. So the first part I did was with the pencil side, just to create an outline, because liquid is so scary to me. And then I went back in with the liquid side, and really just played with it. And then I'm getting a little bit of black eyeshadow on the lower lash line just to connect it. I didn't want it to be the pencil or the liquid. I want it to be more kind of smoked out and I'm just brushing off any of that excess powder. And with my Lily Lashes, the eyelash curler, I'm just curling my lashes because I am going to put some mascara on them. 
And this is the Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm obsessed, you guys. I really do love this. Love, 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 love this mascara. It's really good. It reminds me a lot of the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, but it's just not waterproof. I, w I didn't want this look to last too long. And then my Lily Lashes, I'm using the Style Goddess, which I'm really obsessed with, you guys. Obsessed. Because I didn't want it to cover the eyeshadow. You know I'm obsessed with opulence, but that's really long. So I wanted it to just be about the eyeshadow, so I did lashes. And then with Chicory by MAC Cosmetics, this is a lip pencil. It's a very, like, red, kind of like a deep red lip pencil. And I'm just outlining my lip. If I need to, like, overdraw my lips, I overdrew my lips with this product. And then this is the Ofra liquid lipstick. This is Atlantic City. I am obsessed with this color. It's almost like a cherry red. Like, look at how pretty and red this is. And then I went back in with like an angled brush just to really define the outer parts. And this is when I went in and really overdrew my lips. You'll see it. I overdrew it, but you're, you could be more precise. And then this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter. This is honestly epic, you guys. This is exposed highlight. Like, look at how pretty this is. Oh, and then snatch that little nose. And then that Cupid's bow, make sure it's really prominent. Make sure that cheekbone is nice and layered with highlight. And then right above the brow, I've been really doing that, I don't know why. And this is the final look. I wanted to really play with color and I think I'm getting more and more comfortable with like expanding my horizon when it comes to makeup. And I think that's what makeup is, just playing around, just really playing with what it is that you like and what you don't like. If I didn't like it, then I didn't like it, but at least I tried. Right? I love color, so I'm trying to incorporate it. I'm like, what colors are best on me? What colors kind of blend well together better? And I thought this look would be amazing to try. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And until next time.